What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is the November update for the Rex Begonia propagation, water culture, acrylic yarn medium experiment, all that stuff Rex Begonia related. So <clears throat> we have a lot of growth as you can see just at a glance. Um, lots been going on, all good stuff. So uh, let's jump right in and see how things are doing. Let's start over here. This is a Rex Begonia Salsa that was a leaf propagation in water that I put into the acrylic yarn medium. And as you can see, this thing has gotten pretty unruly. Um, it's got a nice stem there, nice rhizome. Uh, this is a little bit dry, I'm gonna have to water it. But it is a little bit floppy because it keeps growing towards the light and I keep turning it. But, uh, but the plant is doing great. It's getting its adult coloring in because I have it directly under the light, LED lights, of course. So uh, no signs of any issues. Everything is doing well. All right, next up is this big beauty over here. This is the Jurassic Series Pink Shades. This was a leaf propagation as well in water that I put into the acrylic yarn. And we have, starting the fifth leaf here, we got one, two, three, four, and this is the fifth leaf. Doing okay. Um, I forgot to fertilize a couple of times, so it kind of slowed down a little bit, but I'm back on the wagon. So um, hopefully this new leaf will be quick and beautiful relatively soon. But the newest leaves have gotten nice and big, and they're showing some nice color as well. Again, this one is in the acrylic yarn medium. Doing good. All right. Let's move over here to a water culture. This is another... Um, I don't know. I thought that this one was um, also a salsa, but I don't think it is. It doesn't look the same. So this is typical salsa. This is something different. So I'm not exactly sure what variety this is. I'm going to have to research it. But this one has been uh, a leaf propagation in water culture, and I just kept it there. You can see the original petiole down there, all the way down. Sorry, I'm contorting my body right now. So that's the original petiole, and it grew on the leaf surface, I believe. And there is the rhizome growing horizontally, and there are roots going all over the place, and the leaves look beautiful. So far, so good. No issues. Let me put this one back. Oh, I don't want to ruin the pink shades. Pink shades, come on. Let's save that leaf. All right, there we go. There we go. Oh, there's another leaf. So there are five leaves. <laughs> Who knew? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let me move this over. It's a little bit top heavy, but that's okay. All right, and back here we have the original... Um, Escargo. This is the one that was a leaf propagation that I put into the acrylic yarn and it grew two leaves off of the original mother leaf and then it kind of uh, went dormant for a little bit. Came back, uh, started feeding it, and now we've got a bunch of new leaves coming in doing pretty well. So uh, yeah, I, I, I really want to figure out what was it specifically that cause it to go dormant because I pretty much treat all the propagations the same way when I've got a bunch going so I'm gonna have to like research and go through the old videos and see if there's something specific I was or wasn't doing anyway but that's that one over here we have the fedor this was a bunch of leaf cuttings that I had taken off of the mother plant and um stuck them in water first and then I put them into the acrylic yarn. This is very dry, so I have to water this. Um, leaves look oak, the new leaves look good. The old leaves are starting to get a little crackly because I need to water this. Bad plant parent, smack me on the wrist. Anyway, Fedor still doing okay in the acrylic yarn medium. Over here we have Spitfire. This is Spitfire that was a leaf prop that I put into uh, the acrylic yarn medium. Plant is doing well, still throwing out new leaves, starting to get the color. 
Um, I'm probably gonna have to move this closer to the light if I wanna get that rich red color. But uh, as you can see, there's really not enough room here. <laughs> so yeah, we'll come back to that um, maybe in a couple of months or something. There's another Spitfire back there, also an acrylic urine. All right, this here is probably the oldest Rex that I have in acrylic yarn media. Now, this Rex was a leaf prop and I put it into yarn. This was the original experiment. You can see how long that skinny little rhizome is. <laughs> and it's skinny because it went dormant for a while, did not do anything. It had a couple leaves, but then did absolutely nothing. And I wasn't even fertilizing it. I wasn't feeding it. I would just top off the water when I would remember because I really didn't know what was gonna happen back then. But you can see, it's really thin, but you can see how much it's grown. And now with the food and the light and everything, it's getting a thicker rhizome up here. And we've got more leaves and we've got some beautiful adult coloration. Beautiful, beautiful. This is Red Kiss, I believe. And this is, this little plant, believe it or not, is over a year old in the acrylic yarn. This has been in the yarn for over a year, okay? I believe it was last year, which was 2021, in September or October, that this was first put in propagation in the yarn. And it's doing just fine. It's actually doing better now than it was um, when it was, when I was kind of finding my way <laughs> with this uh, experiment. But it's doing good. So we will continue letting this one grow. And now that it's getting bigger, it'll be nice and lush hopefully soon. Um, yeah. So that's that one. I do not know what the name of this one is. Um, I can't even remember where it came from. But it is in a self-watering setup with acrylic yarn. And it's been in here for quite some time. We've got a bunch of new leaves coming in. Um, I need to fertilize this one more. Has not been getting enough food. But yeah. This here is Red Kiss. This was a leaf prop in water that I transferred in one of the videos to a self-watering with acrylic yarn, as you can see. And the baby's doing good. Got some leaves, getting some adult coloration because it's close to the light. No problems there. This here, beautiful. This is Silver Point. This is another Jurassic Series Rex. This was a leaf prop that I put into acrylic yarn. You can see the roots went nuts. This one also needs to be watered. I like to keep at least a little bit of a reservoir at the bottom, but uh, obviously I've been a little bit busy. <laughs> I've not been able to keep up with the watering, but the roots are everywhere, as you can see, and the leaves are continuous. They're still coming out. You see a little baby leaf there, a little reddish one, and uh, doing well, doing well. This down here is the Bland CI um, leaf propagation. I just stuck the leaf into the acrylic yarn directly. I didn't water prop it. Sure enough, we've got a uh, baby growing. Leaves are growing relatively quickly. Another one I have to water. All of these that you're seeing, I have to water. They're starting to dry out a little bit, so don't get mad at me. This one here is the water prop slash water um, culture. This one's staying water culture. This is a red kiss also. No, not Red Kiss, I'm sorry, Heartbeat. This is a Heartbeat. Started out as a water prop leaf. Look at all those beautiful roots. You can see how well it's doing. One thing I'm gonna have to do is prop this up because you see how there's a new leaf growing there? It's growing too low. So I'm gonna have to pull this out towards the top and raise the water level because I don't want these leaves to start developing and getting crushed because there's no place to grow on the inside of the vessel. That's what happens when you have a low water level. So I'm gonna bring this one up to about here, bring the water level up as well, and it'll be a little floppy for a while, but it's doing just fine in nothing but water and nutrients. It's doing really well. It's got a lot of new leaves coming out, really pretty. I really love this variety, and I love that it's doing good in water culture. Okay, over here we have another silver point. This one was uh, propagation directly into yarn. Um, I think this was a leaf piece. It was just a, a section of leaf that I just kind of stuck in the yarn. I said, hopefully it'll root because it was a, a healthy portion of the leaf. I didn't want to get rid of it. And uh, sure enough, there we go. Got a new plant out of it. Good times. 
Um, over here, this was a water prop put to yarn. Um, I think this is also, I'm not sure if this is a salsa, it might be. I don't remember. I gotta start labeling these things, guys. This is bad. <laughs> this is another pink shades, but this one is propagated in um, sphagnum moss. So you can see healthy, growing nice. Um, not as big and healthy as the one in yarn, but this one is a little bit younger. So that's probably why, because they do pretty well in, the, in uh, sphagnum moss. All right, let's see what else we got a bunch of things. This is an angel wing, but this one doesn't belong in this video because this is not a, uh, it's not a water prop and it's not a Rex. This is another salsa. It was just a leaf portion that I shoved into some uh, sphagnum moss. And as you can see, it grew a little plant. This one's probably gonna be sold off though. Um, I don't usually grow my, uh, my Rex in sphagnum moss to keep. I usually put them, transfer them to sphagnum or propagate them in sphagnum so I can sell them off or give them away. Um, here is another salsa, also in sphagnum moss, pr propagated directly in. I don't know what this one is yet, but once it starts to get its adult coloration, I will know. It is in acrylic yarn. It's a young propagation. Over here, we have another heartbeat. This one was water propagation, and this one is going to stay in water. And as you can see, this one over here, it's the same plant, um, same you know type. This is what I have to do with that one. I have to raise it up like this one. This one's on the top lip of the uh, bottle, which will not prevent the growth of new leaves, and I'm gonna ra keep raising the water up so the roots start at the very base. But I have to do that with this one because it fell too deep into that vessel. All right, here we have a beefsteak begonia. This was a chunk of rhizome that I had gotten. It was a, pro a started prop that I had ordered, and I'm keeping it in water culture. Uh, you can see the roots are very, very healthy and thick. They're going nuts. And the propagation, this was um, a tiny, tiny couple of leaves, like a tiny little plant with a big mother leaf. I cut the mother leaf off and I'm repropagating her. And this is the baby, and it's doing great. It's doing great. And there's the red underside beefsteak. But this plant is going to do just fine in nothing but water culture. And I'm very excited because these get really beautiful, big and beautiful. All right. We have another escargot. This was a leaf I just stuck into the acrylic yarn. And as you can see, it grew a plant through the middle of the leaf from underneath. This one also needs to be watered, as they all do. But as you can see, so far so good. The mother leaf is kind of suffering because she's old, but the new leaves are looking really good. Get so excited. Oh, and next up, I'm gonna do another video specifically on this one when I, uh, when I transfer. This is the, and what I mean by transfer is when I repot the second prop off of this leaf. This is the Red Bull leaf that I cut a bunch of slits in the petiole and the leaf stem to see if I would get multiple plants. And at the very bottom of the leaf stem, the petiole, I had a plant that I um, potted up. I'm not sure where I put that, I can't remember. Um, I'll find it. But anyway, so yeah, I had potted up the very bottom propagation and now the next slit that I made is growing a new baby at the bottom there. So that, as soon as those leaves get a little bit bigger, that's going to be cut off and put into uh, acrylic yarn somewhere. And then you can see those other cuts are starting to grow babies as well. So this mother leaf, so far it'll have two plants, possibly three, four, five propagations off the leaf. And then after that top one there, this one here, after I take that one off, I'm going to take the whole leaf and probably just stick the rest of the mother leaf into acrylic yarn. And uh, yeah, so far so good. First prop, oh, I found it. First propagation is back there. I believe that's the one. That was the baby off of the bottom of that leaf. Still doing well in acrylic yarn, still young. And I gotta water it. Uh, let's see, what else, what else, what else? This is just a water propagation of a red kiss. Nothing exciting there. And what else can I show you guys? Do, 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 do. We'll go to this side over here. This is another red kiss that was propagated in acrylic yarn, doing just fine. Oh, I know this isn't a Rex, but I wanted to show you the Thelmae. 
because it is starting to bloom. We had the first flower open up today and I think it fell off already. We've got two more blooms on this spike and there's another spike there. And this is the plant that's growing all the way from here. <laughs> Just a little bit of yarn, acrylic yarn here, but the plant is growing nice and long. It's trailing all over the place. And there was a little sucker. There was a little um, offshoot that I took and I removed it and I put it in this yarn. And as you can see, it's starting to grow at the tip here now. And we're getting a little branch right over there. So um, also replaced in yarn, doing just fine. Uh, over here we have, I believe this is another um, heartbeat in acrylic yarn, doing just fine. Keeps turning towards the light, but that's fine. Um, that's a Rex, but it's in soil. This is one of the mother plants that I had recently acquired. Uh, what up, up, um, this is something, silver something, I can't remember what it is. Um, it, I only had one leaf left, so I put it into the acrylic, and sure enough, we got a baby, doing just fine. And, uh, this is, I believe, a silver limbo. <laughs> As you can see, I just stick leaves of all different things <laughs> into, into the yarn pots. Uh, but this is really what it was for. It was a silver limbo. As you can see here, underside is red. Um, doing okay. Back to this side over here. So, um, oh, last but not least back here, that is, um, oh, what is the name of that? It's a big, red, beautiful, pink Rex begonia. Uh, I can't remember what it is. Anyway, I just shoved a, a piece of a leaf into the yarn, and uh, and of course it propagated. Got a new baby leaf there, doing well. Um, but yeah, anyway, can't remember the name of that, but I will get back to you on that. So everything's doing well. Um, I got to water these. I feel bad. Oh wait, one more up here. This is another. This is a. Roomba. This is a Roomba. Propagation in acrylic yarn, self-watering. Got a little reservoir down there. Doing good. We got new leaves coming out and everything. Sorry guys, I know I'm really bad with the camera today. Um, anyway, so far so good. Some of them have been in acrylic yarn or um, water culture for quite some time. And as you can see, I always say the proof is in the pudding. Things are looking lush and beautiful, even though I've been neglecting to a point. I haven't been watering or fertilizing um, like I really should be, but um, I get distracted easily. <laughs> anyway, you can see they're doing well. Um, very excited. And uh, if you have any questions on my unconventional methods, just reach out and we will discuss... Um, Oh, I know what this one is. This one is the Wild Fury. Beautiful, big Rex Wild Fury. Just a section of leaf that has the, uh, the plant that grew out of the vein. Wild Fury. Okay, I knew it would come to me. Anyway, if you have any questions on the acrylic yarn method, self-watering containers that I create, or anything else you see in this video, please reach out and we will discuss. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell if you want to be notified, and I will see you in the next video.